Choosing a cat litter is going to be one of the most important decisions you're going to have to make for yourself and for your cat. Factors that you will have to consider when choosing the litter are smell control or odor control, uh, tracking whether it leaves any marks on the floor after your cat is done with whatever they're doing inside, and naturally the price. Um, you don't want to spend too much on the cat litter as well. Oh, and obviously your cat has to enjoy the litter as well. So when we tested different types of litter, we realized that cats like some of the litters more than the others. And the litter that we're going to show you today is very similar to the one that won in our previous video when we tested all different types of litter. It outperformed in all of the categories that we considered and most importantly, our cats enjoy using it. Cat it go natural, Pihas clamping cat litter. Love in this sense. So we found this one to be the best litter out of all of the ones that we tested. We tested like six different types um, and genuinely this is the one that is the best. <laughs> Not only does it smell nice but also it controls the odor very well so you don't smell any of the ammonia that you do with some of the other litters that we tested. Um, it doesn't leave much tracking so when the cats jump out of the litter box um, the, the tracking is very minimal and it's actually very easy to clean uh, and most importantly, it's super cheap. Well, it's not super cheap, but like it's good value for money and it lasts forever. This pack, considering that we have two fairly big cars, lasts us for about three weeks. So I think that's a very good value. The absorption is great and cleaning is super easy. And all of the wet stuff turns into like a little ball in the box. Hello, Pixie. <laughs> and it's super easy to pick out. And um, because it clumps and it clumps into like a nicely shaped ball, you end up throwing away only the dirty parts of the litter and everything else that's still good to use stays inside. I think that's one of the reasons why this litter is actually lasting so long and we don't have to change it as often as um, some of the other litters that we tested. Another thing that I want to mention is that it's it's almost completely dust free. Another type of litter that we tested uh, was like really fine sawdust or something like this. And uh, once when Pixie went to the litter, she had an accident because um, she sniffed it and it went up her nose and she jumped out of the litter and um, did what she wanted to do inside, outside of the litter box. Um, that was the end of that litter. Um, so I'm happy to report with this one. Uh, we've been using it for uh, probably like four or five months now and we haven't had a single complaint from the cats. For all of the cats out there, I just wanted to mention that we do keep our complaint line open and you can find the number down below. So if your cat has any complaints, please provide them with this number so we can resolve it as soon as possible. Matt made it sound like this video is sponsored by Catit and well, it isn't. But this just tells you that we really, really love this. Uh, it is very accessible to us as well. Uh, Catit has like a minimum order of like 40 pounds, I think, for free delivery. So we always order three packs of this. Um, and I love the packaging actually, because it comes in like a cardboard box, which is really easy to store. So we can literally put it anywhere that you've got a little bit of space. And it's not really like a bag that can get spilled or the cats can get into, so yeah. <laughs> I was <laughs> going to say bitten fruit. We've, bitten fruit. We've had that before. Yes, yeah, so um, I really like the packaging. So inside you've got two vacuum packed packs like this. Uh, so one pack is probably like a full uh, litter box for us. Um, so we do keep quite a lot of litter in there and we top up regularly as well. Um, because uh, we found that if there is more litter in the litter box, it makes it so much easier to clean as well because nothing sticks to the bottom of it. You just, just scoop everything out and um, it's all nice and clean. Uh, so yeah, um, that's really cool. And sometimes I just open it and put it in um, the cardboard box without this packaging so that the scent is not overpowering. Although it's not very strong, so we really enjoyed that. We weren't actually looking for a scented cat litter that was not on our list. It just so happens that this one is, um, but I do really enjoy the scent. We tried their other one, which is vanilla one, but we didn't really like it that much. I guess it's vanilla was too sweet. Yeah. Environmental impact was another important aspect of um, choosing a cat litter for us. And this one is created using renewable resources. So that was a major plus for us. So just to show you how we scoop it out, we've got some pee at the bottom here. Um, and it literally clumps in a ball like this, which is great um, because as you can see, uh, there is no extra litter being wasted. Um, you can just put this actually, oh yeah, you can put it in um, the toilet as well. But we found that um, 
if we put too much in the toilet, it um, clogs it a little bit. <laughs> we only did that when we had friends coming round and we didn't clean the litter. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> yeah, and um, yeah, it, it didn't end very well. But yeah, you can, if it's like, if you clean uh, your litter box like three times a day, then you can probably put it in the, um, in the toilet for sure. This cat litter is very, very similar to the tofu cat litter that we tested in our previous video. So we'll link it up here for you guys. Um, that video has a little bit more info on all of the different categories that we considered. Um, and you can see <laughs> the cats are fighting. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> bit of cat time in the video. Did you just stop as you pointed the camera on them? <laughs> That's so funny. I'm sure they always start in like three, two, one. <laughs> They're not even fighting, they just annoy each other. Aside from like the scent of it and the colour, we didn't really see much of a difference. It is definitely um, a lot less expensive. So you can go and see that video and see how it's scored against um, other cat litters, so like the wood pellets. Breeder Select, which is made from recycled newspapers, um, and yeah, get your idea of uh, how um, this works and if you would like it too. Another point that we wanted to mention is that we know that loads of people like um, wood pellets and a lot of cat owners have their favourite cat litters, so it really depends on you and your cat. But if you only tried one type, we would encourage you to try a different one because at the beginning we really liked the breeders lacked. We really loved the environmental um, footprint or rather not footprint that it had. Um, so that was something that really kept us going with that one. But as we branched out to see all the different ones, that's where we found this type of cat litter and fell in love with it uh, because it really makes it so, so much easier to keep the litter box clean. So yeah, we hope that this video was really helpful for you guys and uh, let us know below as always, what is your favorite cat litter? If you have tried any new ones recently, and we hope to see you in our next video soon. Bye! And they stopped fighting. <laughs> Blooming! Hello! Yeah.